You know those kind of earplugs, huh? You squeeze them between your thumb and your forefinger and make a little cylinder out of them and uh, um, you insert them into your ears, uh, which uh, torture their uh, cavities. Uh, um, they expand enthusiastically, yeah. Well, the black servant of the high court judge, she returns in a few minutes. Uh, 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 she smiles at her boss and, oh, and her front gold tooth glitters, uh, that golden crown, huh? reflects the uh, brilliant tropical sun as it's sinking into the picture postcard, Bay of Charlotte Amelie. The household maid reports uh, dutifully to her white boss. Uh, well, sorry, boss. Uh, the pharmacy is closed. It's Sunday. But you never mind now about that music from Da Hippie Haven. The black woman plucks too white fluffs out of her ears and proudly in her cupped hand offers them to her white master because these old-fashioned cotton balls work just fine. Next morning, Southwell cooks oatmeal. Well, Tennyson, saxophone, they scurry around Charlotte Amelie, uh, chauffeured by the liberated uh, former uh, police lieutenant to score fresh tropical fruit for the Baker's Banquet the morning after. Breakfast feast, fruit salad. And with 20 tripped out hungry uh, hippies, uh, this shopping spree, gotta be bold. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, there's a, there's a truck just coming in from the farmer's market. I'll take two racks of bananas still on the on the stock. Eighty bananas to a rack, they're okay, and uh, they fill up the whole trunk, back seat. Uh, papayas, uh, yeah, twenty of those. Oranges, grapefruit, uh, lemons, uh, durian, uh, <laughs> guava, soursop, rambutan, lychees. Oh, some exotic dragon fruit. Uh, Cashews, mm -hmm. dates. Yeah, and uh, well, Tennyson stops at the hardware store. I get a brand new Rubbermaid, a 32-gallon garbage can to mix all this fruit up in. He's using he's using a kayak or to store it up. And uh, yeah, they get back to the kitchen at the Hippie Haven, and uh, well, saxophone, very ingenious. Huh? She's bought 24 large uh, dark chocolate Cadbury's uh, bars, and she crumples them up by hand into this uh, garbage can full of uh, fresh fruit salad. <laughs> yeah, spice that up, sweeten it up. Uh, divine oatmeal. <laughs> and fresh tropical salad. Suitable for a Caribbean queen. Breakfast is served. Well, after the substantial uh, uh, hearty feast, uh, Tennyson orders the uh, police uh, escort uh, chauffeur to drop the, his music troupe off at the Red Hook Ferry for that fun and picturesque 40-minute ride over to the Jewel of the Virgin Islands, St. John. Ooh. Imagine 90% of this verdant, lush island protected as national park. Well, a loquacious storyteller like myself, I could just go on and on, you know. But to make a long story short, um, after uh, 16 hours of video performance, uh, how about we just imagine Tennyson and uh, the, the two women, they, they, they just adored the hell out of St. John? Well, on St. John, Tennyson's got like a a especially wealthy uh, hippie friend. His name is Ed Gibney. Yeah, the Gibney family. They own their beach, their white sand private beach, is rated as among the best 10 beaches in the world. Yeah. And, uh, well, this young Gibney boy, 100% hippie. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he rents out... Uh, uh, Ten platforms to his friends. Yeah, 50 bucks a month, fine. And you know what the view up there? I mean, I had one of those. Um, yeah, sparkling Caribbean. <laughs> Great. Just lush jungle in there. Mm -hmm. 
Well, backstory. Uh, what's happening behind the scene? Well, this enigmatic Egyptian, until you get to know him, uh, you'll hear more and more about him shortly. Uh, he has christened Tennyson as his main man to turn on the whole Caribbean to his white crystal LSD for the good of mankind. You know, and um, for this purpose, uh, in Puerto Rico, Sphinx has gifted Tennyson 4,000 trips of LSD, fresh from the lab. And hence, this is what uh, frees uh, Tennyson to uh, go into a new level of lifestyle, transcend his busking career, which he mastered. But now it's time for mm -hmm, another kind of big time. Well, in turn... And Tennyson gifted the three musketeers in the dock. He gave he he cut them five hundred trips. Keep the hippie haven enlightened. And uh, yeah, now Tennyson he's working full time for the LSD shamans of San Francisco, and so he's going to circle back to Puerto Rico for his next assignment, which is to perform with Sappho and Sax uh, with these uh, dreamy dykes uh, to entertain the glamorous hippie wedding of. Uh, Ande Aponte and his New York luscious girlfriend, Aquarius. She is 20 years older, and this caused a little mm -mm -mm in the Aponte family. Yeah, he's 18. She's, she's a 38. Huh? And uh, She stripped naked. She was a star of the Broadway hit Hair. Mm -hmm. And she just bedazzled the... Uh, Young, young, young Andale. Well, what's that wedding going to be like? This Aponte family is so powerful. Uh, uh. 